Hello everybody, I'm here covering another Minecraft update. In this case, it is Minecraft 1.20 pre-release 1. Now, that means we've moved on from the snapshot phase, which means videos are going to be a little bit more sporadic. It's not going to be every Wednesday. It's it's going to be whenever a, a, a pre-release is out. So, be ready for that. Pre-releases can come out at any time, not just Wednesdays. So, it could be tomorrow, it could be in a week. We'll see. Anyway... There's not going to be very many changes from here on out, so we're going to kind of cover the changes right now. And then right after we cover all the changes, I want to talk a little bit about what this means for the release window and what it means for the future of this channel. Okay, so the only change I can find so far in this pre-release and in the changelog was that you can now dye wool, carpets, and beds to any other color. So in this case, I've got light blue carpet, you can put one in there, and you just take your dye, you put it in there. One thing I'm curious about though is, can you do this with like concrete as well? It doesn't look like you can do it with concrete just yet. Yeah, you cannot do this with concrete, it looks like it's only with the wool type of block, so beds, carpet, and wool as mentioned prior. I really hope they bring this functionality to concrete and to terracotta. I think that would just be a generally good plan. I believe making all colored blocks that can be dyed to make them universally dyed, whether they are already colored or not, I think that's just a good idea. Glass, terracotta, concrete, it makes sense. It would also make it so not everybody has to go and download the crafting pack from Vanilla Tweaks to get Universal Dying. It would just be pre-installed in the game. I would really appreciate that. There was 30 bug fixes in this update, which is pretty good, all things considered. And since that's where we're going, I would say this is the start of a long road of bug fixes. So be ready for that. But one thing I do want to show you all is MC180 has been fixed. So, if you don't know what MC180 is, it's a very old Minecraft bug, dating back to probably, my guess is when Nether Portals first were added. Let's see if you notice. Hmm, interesting. Now, I don't know if you guys could see that or not, because the camera will kind of interrupt us, but I'll show you guys again. Okay, if you didn't get it yet, I'll just go ahead and tell you the nether portal animation does not keep playing if you just stand there. It does go away. This is such a great change. It's such a small, minuscule quality of life change, but it is a good change nonetheless. And for anybody that wanted to know how long this bug has been in the game, uh, it's been in the game since 2012. I have one more quick little change here to talk about and then we'll get into all my opinions and you know all that stuff. So the thing is loot tables are now based on random sequences. What that means from the best I can tell is that it's seed generated. So you know how your Minecraft world has a seed? Well now I believe loot tables will also have a seed. Okay so now the question is now that we're in the pre-release phase, what in the world is going to happen in terms of release dates? Now, I'm of the mind that we are probably getting close to the first major release of 1.20. I'm going to stick to my guns and say it probably is coming out June 13th or the 14th. However, it honestly could come out any time without me knowing. Uh, I, I'm gonna say that likely though it is coming out that second full week of June, third week technically of June. I think it could come out any day between the 11th and the 17th. If you want to see more about why I predict those, there's a video somewhere on my channel about it. Then that brings us to the next point of what what's going on with this channel because that's kind of what I based everything off of was 1.20's development. So, you know, it would be good to have a direction, that way you guys know what to expect. And, uh, the truth is, it's going to be a whole lot of random Minecraft stuff, but it will be still Minecraft. So don't, don't go anywhere until, you know, you give it a try, because I, I am going to be working hard on a lot of content for you guys. 
that I really do hope you enjoy because I, I, I want to make this a viable uh, channel and I know that uh, just making videos to do with Minecraft updates may not be the best way to do that. So that brings me to another point. What kind of stuff do you guys want to see me do? Do you guys want to see me make uh, some more of those funny little videos like uh, the war crimes in Minecraft? Do you want to see more informative videos like the Easter eggs in Minecraft? Do you want to see some more tutorials like what we used to do back in the day with like finding certain structures or fighting the ender dragon? Do you guys want to see more of that? Do you guys want to see a survival series? You guys let me know. Because ultimately, you guys are the reason this channel even exists. So if you guys want to see something specific, I highly recommend letting me know, either with a comment down below, or if you want me to see it quicker and consider a little more heavily, joining the, our Discord by using the link in the description is the best way. There's a place for you to leave all your suggestions there. There's a place for you to sign up for notifications for videos and live streams. So that's where I recommend going to getting all the best communication from me and uh, from the rest of the community. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, watching this video, and uh, supporting the channel up until this point. I hope to see you guys in the future, whether that be in the next pre-release video, or when Minecraft 1.20 does release, when that happens, or in another video where I'm doing something silly. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.